once again and today I'm here to show you guys how I went from curly to straight or shall I say kinky to straight. I am 4B, 4C natural hair texture and I was very surprised that I was actually able to straighten my hair on my own this time. So there's a big misconception that you have to use all these expensive products in order to straighten your hair on your own. Well, I'm gonna show you some inexpensive products you can use and get results. So the first product that I use is Hello Hydration 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I follow that up with Be Curly from Aveda. You don't have to use that product, but that's just what I had. It was a co-wash. Then I deep condition, and deep conditioning is key with 3-Minute Aussie Strong um, Deep Conditioner. And then I follow that up with a heat protectant. These are the two heat protectants that I use. They are bomb and your flat iron is key. This flat iron was only $59. I do have a discount code from you guys. It's from Vanity Planet. It is legit. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Okay guys, so as I mentioned earlier, I started with freshly washed hair. I washed my hair once again with Hello Hydration and it was their shampoo and conditioner two in one. Then I deep conditioned overnight. I applied the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. As you can see, my hair is definitely 4B, 4C hair. I do have some areas where there are ringlets and others where you don't see much of a curl at all. This is typically the most challenging texture to straighten, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. My leave-in of choice is aloe vera juice. I apply that generously all over my hair, which is a very powerful solution that acts as an emollient softening the hair making it more pliable and also adding extreme hydration to the hair following my leave-in i begin to add thermal creations heat protectant i spray that all over my hair and then i apply a serum i'm using icy fantasia heat protectant it's very light and it's wonderful for taming frizzy curly or coily hair this product is awesome i will actually share with you guys that it's a good rule of thumb not to actually apply a natural oil to your hair because that can actually fry your hair rather use a serum i tried that this time and my hair did not smell fried or anything it was very tamed and it worked wonders after that process i like to work in sections so i applied clips to my hair. I did put my hair in eight sections, which will be the sections that I'll use to start blow drying. So I began to finger detangle my hair. After finger detangling, I use a wide tooth comb to detangle. Then I follow that up with a denim brush. You want to ensure that your hair is tangle free when you're going about the stretching process whether it be for blow drying or straightening. When blow drying my hair, I like to use the tension method. In the past, I would use this method by holding my hair taut at the length of my hair and then simply applying the heat from the blow dryer. This time, I decided to use a Denman brush to add more of a grip to my hair. This allowed for it to be much smoother and the process just seemed to go by much faster and my hair was free from all the tangles using this method. When the halfway point of my hair is smooth and at the level that I like, then I proceed to go down the rest of my hair until I get to the very tip. And you guys will see that. It's just a gradual process of gripping the Denman brush on your hair. And then I hold my thumb, I believe, on the rest of the hair just so I have a good grip. And then I just continue down the length of the hair. You will see that when I get to the very tip, I do hold it with my fingers and that allows for it to be much smoother along the ends. I tried with the Demon brush at the very ends, but it was challenging to get a good grip. So I just used my fingers at the very end. So as you can see, the part that was being held with my fingers under the brush, it's still not smooth because that's not the area that I was working on. So I just work my way down the length of the hair, pull it down a little more, and then I proceed the downward motion using the blow dryer and just keep going until I get to the tips. After this process, I like to follow it up with the chase method with my Denman brush. So I'm simply just taking my Denman brush, actually brushing it through and using the heat from the blow dryer. This process makes it so much more smooth. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys that process one more time using the second section. So I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair, follow that up with the Denman brush, then I'm going to take my Denman brush. Oh, let's stop and look at how amazing this is. 
<laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue. So I'm gonna brush through with the Denman brush, stop at a midway point, use the blow dryer to go down the length of my hair, applying the heat in a downward motion. After I do that, I'm gonna continue down the length of my hair, taking small steps. Once we've gotten to the very end, the very tip, I'm gonna hold it with my finger. And I'm just using the chase method. This time I chose to do the chase method with my wide two comb instead of the denim brush. And this is how my hair looks. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like, completely blown out much different from where we started. We started with my hair looking really short like I had a CWA to have it some length. But my hair is in desperate need of a trim. So I'm just gonna trim my ends really quick. I do this by just combing through, holding my hair taut, looking at the ends to see where there's damage and just snipping. It's really simple and easy. And I'm not cutting too much off, just where I feel like it's necessary to cut so that it doesn't continue to split. And yeah. Just gonna continue to do this and then I'm gonna proceed to the flat ironing process. Worth more than you ever see. Ooh, baby, please. This is what my hair looks like now that I've finished trimming it completely. I'm going to now begin the flat ironing process. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back home. So this is how I decided to do my hair, just so I could have my hair out of the way while I was doing my makeup. I just applied duck bill clips, kind of like the style. I don't know that I could actually go out like that, but I think it's kind of cute. I don't know why, but yeah. I'm just gonna take these down and then we're gonna start flat ironing. You, I'll make you smile, look deep in your eyes. Y'all, I just realized I have makeup in my hair. Ugh. I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, disregard that throughout the rest of this tutorial where you see it. So like, yeah, let's move on. Let's get to this flat iron though. The flat iron that I'll be using is the Vibe Professional Vibrating Flat Iron. Y'all, this flat iron is amazing. I was so completely blown away by how my results turned out. I've purchased other flat irons in the past that are so much more expensive and don't do nearly what this flat iron did. One thing that I love about it is that the cord is super long, so I can do my hair in a number of different places in my apartment, which is awesome. It also has vibrating plates, which is phenomenal. When I initially started the flat ironing process, it caught me off guard because I wasn't expecting for the vibration to be as loud. It has an easy on and off button, and it does go to the temperature setting of 400 or more. Um, you're not able to adjust the setting, which might be something that some individuals might not care for, but it was completely fine for me because it absolutely did the job. So I'm just gonna pull out a small section of hair and put the rest of my hair away so that I can begin the flat ironing process. I'm really excited for you guys to see how it turned out. You guys have kind of seen in the beginning, but you will see the shock on my face with how well this flat iron did. So this is how small the section that I'm starting with is. I'm going to begin to use the flat iron on that section. I love that this flat iron has vibrating plates. The vibrating plates are beneficial because they help to minimize pulling and friction during the styling. And it also enables the iron to glide through your hair much easier than your typical flat iron. So I'm using a rat tail comb for this process. I'm going to put a comb along the strands of my hair and then follow the comb with my flat iron to sort of chase it down the length of my hair allowing it to be so much smoother than it was in the beginning. I'm gonna do maybe two passes for every section. I decided that I needed to do the chase method just for a silkier and smoother finish and it turned out so well. This flat iron is very lightweight and it also leaves your hair smooth and shiny, which I have yet to experience when I've used any other flat iron. My hair was also really bouncy and flowy, which was something I was very surprised and impressed with. I read many reviews online before I actually ordered this flat iron, and many of them stated that there were so many different benefits from this particular flat iron and they got good results with their natural hair. Now, what I was leery of was if these individuals who share reviews were people who actually had the hair texture like mine, because these were all written reviews. I didn't actually look on YouTube, but I was like, I gotta test it out. I gotta see what it does on my texture. 
So yeah guys, the proof is in the pudding. So I'm just gonna continue the chase method and I'm gonna let you guys just observe the process and we're gonna see the finished result. She's told me love don't live here anymore But I'm not gonna take her word for it When it all comes down to your heart You know that love gonna take you away so while I wait on your touch I'll write these songs to describe my love Girl, it all comes down to you and I And you're the only so these are the finished results guys I still cannot believe that I can actually run my fingers through my hair and there's not an issue I'm not like having a struggle I can also comb through my hair which is a miracle I have never been able to comb through my hair when I flat iron my hair on my own it's always usually stiff and it doesn't look that shiny it's usually weighed down but my hair is like really lightweight it's bouncy and flowy it looks awesome i'm so impressed with it now is it bone straight no but i wasn't looking for the bone straight look i like when my hair still has a great deal of volume which is perfect for the look that i was going for i decided to bump the ends just a little bit and then i'm gonna wrap it to preserve it at night Hey guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. As always, be sure to use code MARYVIBES to get 50% off. The original price of the flat iron is $59, but you can get it for half of that, which is next to nothing. Also, many of you guys have been asking that I sell my old units. I've been getting DMs and emails about that. I started doing that this past Friday. I've already sold three. I have one more left. I'm going to link that in the description box so you guys look out for that as well. I'll also put a link at the end of this tutorial for you all. So check that out and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. If you haven't already subscribed, do so. Give this video a big thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye guys.